Hi, everyone. I'm Keith Vitale, and welcome to Psychic Podcast. In this episode, I want to share with you another martial arts story. This time, it's one of my favorite point karate tournament stories. Um, it's about me having to go up against this fighter named Tommy Williams. And he said the NKC Finals, end of the year in 1980, it's the National Karate Circuit Finals. So it's those are our final national tournament. It's hosted by none other than the great Chuck Norris. So I'm his guest. I go out to the tournament. All top 10 fighters are there. So it happens that I'm in the top bracket. And this guy named uh, Robert Harris, also from the South, is in the lower bracket. So for me to meet the winner of the lower bracket, just like a tennis bracket would be, it's going to be a tough day at the office. So in my bracket, I have to find a guy named uh, Norris Williams, and I get by him. I fight Al Francis, a great fighter out of Dallas, Texas. And I was fortunate enough to get by him again. I've had some victories against him. And then I have to fight this tough guy named Billy Jackson, who just beat Benny Urquidez in a full contact match. So I knew this was going to be tough. And I just remember every time I'd fake at him and a left hook would come by, I knew I came within an inch of dying each time. He was such a powerful fighter. But again, I was very fortunate. I get by him. So now I'm up against this guy named Tommy Williams, who happens to be the full contact world champion uh, in his weight division. And he's known for spinning back fists. Now, I also had one of my students... I think we had the premier spin of actress at the time, Richard Jackson. He knocked out most of the opponents he went up against with the spin of actress. So I, I knew a little bit, little bit about it. Hopefully, I wasn't going to be fooled. A little did I know. So here it is. I'm fighting Tommy Williams, and he's the number one in the world full contact fighter. I'm actually the number one fighter in the world at the time in point fighter, the nation at least. So I get the best of him, and I should because I'm a point fighter. So I'm up four, five, nothing, whatever. Um, just 10 seconds or five seconds to go in the match, I score and I drop my hands. And Tommy does that spin and back fist. You know, you lock your arms out like this and you get that full just pendulum swing and he just torqued his body, caught me flush against my jaw. Well, two, three seconds later, the center referee goes, time. And then winner points to me for winning because I, I was up. I bow to him, and here's what happens. I go, I said some choice words, but these are kind of the words I'll, I'll tell you what I said. I said, you hit like a girl. And then I walked away. So I was very fortunate. I won my bracket. Robert Harris has won his bracket. Now, he's gone through Nasty Anderson, uh, Rudy Smedley, Chip Wright, Dave Rupert. I mean, there's some really great Russ mates. There's some great fighters at the bottom, and he went through all of them. So now it's me against Robert Harris. Robert's number three or four in the country. I happen to be number one. I go three rounds with him, and I was very fortunate I win that tournament. And here's the thing that happens, kind of weird. Uh, the final match was on, on tables. You can imagine like lunch tables, and they put a canvas over them. But my feet were being pinched. The bottom of my feet were being pinched every time we moved. So literally my toes, my, my feet were hurting after the match. My roommate happened to be Robert Harris, the same guy I defeated that, you know, in, for the final of the tournament. The next day, the irony is he has to carry my trophy along with his second place trophy to the airport. And he's not a happy camper about it. He's He's calling me names and going, this sucks. I can't believe I got to carry a trophy. And, you know, so I'm, I'm laughing and giggling the whole time. He's a great fighter, but uh, one of those fighters, I always had his number too. I was very fortunate to have his number like Steve Fisher's and a few others like that. Um, so getting back to the Tommy Williams story. So a year later, I went, I'm at another event and Tommy Williams runs into me. And it's like a dinner event. He said, hey, Keith, how you doing? And we go out there and not. Uh, I shake his hand. I go, Tommy, it's great seeing you again. He goes, can I ask you a question? I said, sure. He goes, remember last year when you beat me? I'd hit you with my spinning back fist flush in your, your face. And I said, yeah. I, hate, I said, Tommy, let me tell you something. I couldn't hear you or see you when I bowed. I called you a name and I was looking in a general direction. I was hoping you were standing there, but I was literally out of my feet. Well, he was so happy to hear this because he said, Keith, I thought I lost my mojo. I hit you harder than I've ever hit anybody in my life. I hit you flush. And then you call me a girl and some other names. And he says, 
It bothered me so much I couldn't even sleep at night. He's so happy. And so he picked me up and he's hugging me. And uh, I love the guy. And, and unfortunately, he's no longer with us. But he had such a great sense of humor and is such a good fighter and one of my best wins. And I, I thought you'd enjoy the story. And if you did, please, I want you to like it and share it. And of course, always subscribe to hear more stories like this. Leave some comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. Until next time, ciao.